story once I'm there because you guys actually don't know it yet by the time of this recording you don't know where I'm going some of you guessed Adelaide I've heard Sydney as well but no it's gonna be uh, Cal Dorley to do mining click the video here to see me explaining that which is like the last video or the, no two videos ago but anyways yeah I'm on the way um, and I've had a strange but a very interesting encounter uh, in the hostel in Ans Esperance. So yesterday I kind of had a rest day. I actually met uh, an awesome guy, Chris, in the hostel. Uh, he had a car, so together we actually uh, went to Pink Lake, which wasn't pink. Yeah, it's like, it's not pink anymore. I read all the signs and it was a bit of a pity. Afterwards we, we had some food somewhere and um, rode along the coastline, which was really, really beautiful. And then we went back to the hostel. And then around, I think, like five o'clock, um, a girl, I think it was, oh yeah, we, Chris and I were grabbing some coffee in the afternoon, and then we went back to the hostel, and there was a girl checking in. She had like, you know, bike bags, everything with her. And so it turns out, I actually, you know, struck up a conversation with her. She just cycled from Melbourne, that's where she started, and she just completed like the big empty trek, like right here. She, she like cycled here. Um, you know, across the Malabora as well, which is just crazy. Yeah, she's really cool. She's actually going to Perth. I'll leave a link to her blog down below. She actually uh, has a blog. Yeah, it was really cool to meet her, and she was just so tired. <laughs> yeah, because I think for the last eight days, she's been cycling non-stop, like doing like 120 kilometers a day, which is just crazy. And there's just a little update from my sprints. Um, and yeah, today I'm gonna ride around Kilgoldy for a little bit, and I'll check into the hostel there. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get a job very soon, but um, we'll see. It's like 40 degrees now, but it's humid as well. So it's like, I just got off the bus like half an hour ago. I just had a coffee in the coffee shop. And mate, it is insanely hot. I'll be going to the hostel now. I hope they get air conditioning. Cause this is like, the sun is so, it's like burning. I don't know if I can do this for, for three months. That is gonna be my crib for the next three months. Oh boy. bike ride through the little town and now we're at the super pit which is this giant pit it's like the biggest i think it's the biggest man-made pit in the world um for gold see do you see that part over there right there it's like collapsed or something like you see you see all these lines so those, those are like roads or something and then this one bit is like gone craziness so this will be my work spot for the coming months. <laughs> I don't think I'll be allowed in here without the, the right certification. So, um, but yeah, there are like, there are like tons of jobs here. I just, you know, went to the hostel and they said, uh, yeah, you'll do anything, man. Anything that, um, that will pay, that they need you for, you'll, um, you'll get into it. So, crazy. I can't fly the drone though, that's too bad. Because I'd love to have flown over this thing. <laughs> this whole area right here, like this is Kalgoorlie, this is Kulgadi. And then this whole area, these are all pits. These are all sites of mining. And basically around here it's all gold. So um, I actually went to... 
I actually went in, in the town, there's a little shop for metal detectors because what people do, and actually the guy that was running the shop made a living doing that so what he does is he goes out into the middle of nowhere I think he has his own like piece of land that he bought like just in the middle of nowhere in the red dirt so what he does, he goes there with his metal detector, it's like a gold detector and he finds golden nuggets on the ground or just below the ground he actually makes a living out of that, that's crazy. I don't know if I made any videos about that, but I used to have a metal detector and I used to um, uh, search for coins in Holland on the beaches. But this, this is next level, like this is completely next level, but yeah, still so cool. Alright guys, so it's about one month later, um, a lot has happened in the last month. I basically, just to keep it a bit short, first two weeks I was just looking for a job. I was going to all the agencies around here and I was just like looking for anything in mining. And then the second two weeks I worked. And right now I've got a full time job. It's pretty good paying. The pay is really nice. And I'll be doing that for the next three months or so. I've also worked on the mine side. This is actually, this, this shop that I have right now is not on the mine side. It's just uh, in a like industrial area close by here. Um, but I have worked on a mine for three days which was really really cool and like the pay was amazing, really good. Here's a little picture, here's a little shot of me, I, I sneakily uh, made a little selfie while I was, um, <laughs> I was working, which is not allowed so I had to like put out the company that I was working for and stuff like that. But anyways, um, yeah it's been an amazing experience so far, I've really really liked doing this. I can tell like after being here for one month now, I kind of want to move on already like it's already getting on me because it's like it's a small town you know the people in this hostel are great like this hostel is really really cool but yeah like I've got pretty much three more months to go I have calculated that around half July I'll be done with uh, the days and I'll have my second year visa but yeah it's uh, it's a long way to go if you guys want to do a live stream I am thinking about doing one I think I'll do one very soon actually um, just you know like just a question and answer type thing like if you have any questions already leave them in the comments down below about my work my plans because I'm actually planning my year out right now like what I'm gonna do this year for the rest of 2019 and all that good stuff so if you have any questions any suggestions anything you want to leave in the comments down below do it and um, and yeah if you guys are up to a live stream, I think I think we'll do a live stream yeah, I'll let you know when, probably like in a week or two, and uh, we'll do that, and it'll be all good. So, thanks for watching this video. Please like it if you liked it. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.